Hey guys, what is going on? So today, I figure I've already done top five mods to do for your EcoBoost Mustang. So I'm gonna do top five mods not to do to your EcoBoost Mustang. So let's get to it. So first mod not to do to your EcoBoost Mustang. This is not in any order, just whatever I picked. Cold air intake. The stock box is proven to make the most power. With It's got a drop-in filter. There's an AEM drop-in filter in here. Um, also, there's also a um, aerated intake tube, which I'm going to get. This is still a stock intake tube. But it has been proven, actually, that the cold air intakes will lose power. Now, whether that be 5 horsepower or 15 horsepower, it depends. But if you're going to lose horsepower, I mean, what's the point? The only thing you're getting out of a cold air intake on these cars is the sound. So that's about it. Second mod not to do to your EcoBoost Mustang. A stock location intercooler. Now I'm going to go over here and show you what the stock intercooler looked like. This is how much I love it. this thing. It keeps hiding in some corner over here. Stock intercooler. Levels intercooler. See the difference? So basically, there are companies like uh, Mishimoto, I think Map Street Intercooler has one that's similar in size. That one's one of the better stock location ones. Um, there's also, I'm trying to think, maybe there's a CPE. I know there's a Mountain one that's also stock location. So basically, your stock location intercooler is going to look similar to this. Might be thicker, might be slightly taller, or you know, whatever. Um, they're not gonna perform as well as a big front mount. So basically, this intercooler starts from basically where the splitter is, goes all the way up to the uh, bottom of where the, my floating pony is. And it's a good amount thicker than this one. So it's, it's they don't, keep cooler charge temps as well as the big front mounts like the levels or the speed factory or the ETS so that's number two not to do to your EcoBoost Mustang okay mod number three not to do to your EcoBoost Mustang now this is more so your opinion on what you like so you know take it easy on me but I have learned this the hard way um, I made a video actually about you know stuff EcoBoost owners say and one of them was the MBRP race over and over again um, that's because everybody on the EcoBoost pages says to get MBRP race it sounds great and you know honestly my exhaust doesn't sound half bad for what it is but I still have a resonator in there um, if I were to delete the resonator on my car basically have catless downpipe and a straight pipe all the way back because there's no mufflers on this car I don't know if I could handle the sound. This is what it sounds like with a resonator. pretty obnoxious and honestly I'm probably going to be getting a full cat back sometime in the near future um, and I've heard catless and no mufflers no resonators all the way back and it is the most atrocious sounding thing in the world it's loud obnoxious and has no tone whatsoever so number three it's opinion don't straight pipe your EcoBoost Mustang okay so fourth mod not to do to your EcoBoost Mustang we all know what this is, this is an access port, and this is what you get when you want to make your car faster, you want to put a tune on it. Now, usually what people do is they'll buy this, and you know, they'll buy a brand new $500, they don't want to spend any more money. So they go on here, and they see all these pre-loaded cob tunes. So they run the cob tunes. There's stage zero, which is basically stock, stage 191, stage 293. And then people think, they should go even farther and they find out stage two is even worse than stage one um, and stage three half the people blow their cars up so if you're getting a Cobb access port you might as well go all the way and buy a pro tune as well because these 
stage one, two, and three tunes. First of all, if you're stock or don't have any of the cob parts that you need for the stage two and three, do not go above stage one. Second of all, I wouldn't even recommend using a cob tune. I had mine on for two days before I saw how much knock there was on these tunes and just how disappointed I was with the performance of these tunes. And I went out and bought a pro tune. Now there's numerous pro tuners. There is, for the access port, there's only a few that I would recommend. Um, the two I'd recommend would be Tune Plus and Purple Drank Tuning. Um, they're gonna be your best bets for the access port if you get an SCT. They also have preloaded tunes. I wouldn't recommend those either. I've heard bad things about those. SCT, there's Lund, there is Unleashed Tuning, there's Brew City Boost. So there's plenty of options for pro tuners. So you don't have to use these crappy off the shelf tunes. So that is mod number four you shouldn't do to your EcoBoost Mustang. All right, so mod number five you should not do to your EcoBoost Mustang. Throttle body spacer, throttle body intake manifold spacer. They're basically gimmicks. Now let's start with the throttle body first of all. There is a BBK aftermarket throttle body for these cars. It was proven to be useless under 600 horsepower. I don't know how useful it was over 600 horsepower, but there's not gonna be many people pushing 600 plus horsepower in these cars. There's very few. So it's basically useless for anybody normal, such as myself, who's probably not gonna be around 600 horsepower anytime soon or at all. So throttle body, don't waste your money. Throttle body spacer, same thing. It might make some whistling sounds, some cool sounds. It's a waste of money. You're not gonna get any performance out of it. It's useless. Intake manifold spacer, same idea. You're gonna put it in there, you're gonna spend your 70, 80, 100 bucks, however much they are. Waste of money, it's not gonna get you any power. Literally, it's just gimmicks. So, basically, mod number five, you shouldn't do your EcoBoost Mustang. Don't waste your money on a throttle body. Don't waste your money on a throttle body spacer unless you're doing meth. There are throttle body spacers for meth or plumbing in a boost sensor or boost gauge. Those are the only two reasons you need a throttle body spacer. Um, intake manifold spacer, useless unless you have one that has some injectors in it, you know, for the E85 fuel kit. Besides that, the normal spacers are just useless. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I appreciate you all watching. That was my top five mods not to do for the EcoBoost Mustang. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Have a great day.